John. Is Rodrigo Coral going to be designing covers for Alaska and Paper Towns? That's from Heather. Uh, so Rodrigo uh, designed the, cover, the new British covers for uh, Abundance of Gatherings and Will Grace and Will Grace, which are both super cool. And of course he designed the cover for The Fault in Our Stars, which you see here, um, which I like quite a lot. Will he ever design covers for Looking for Alaska and Paper Towns? I don't know. I hope so. I would love it if, they, if, if he did, but they have different publishers. Um, so, and they didn't bring us all here to Monastery, <laughs> so we won't mention them. <laughs> I have tried Marmite, or well, not uh, since I've been in the United Kingdom, but back when I was in college, my roommate was from South Africa, and he ate lots of Marmite, and uh, so one day I was like, yeah, I'll do that, and no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Sooner or later, I will explode. That is the title of the Swedish version of The Fault in Our Stars, and it is pronounced for Eller Sonare Explorerja! <laughs> Swedish nerd fighter said the actual title of, of For Eller Sonari Exploder or Jag. Um, I did not understand any of the sounds that she was making. <laughs> None of them have analogs in English. Okay. Uh, what's been your favorite thing about England? From Ellie Lindsay. P.S. It's her birthday today. Sort, I've been... sort of. It's sort of her birthday today. <laughs> <laughs> I think that works. It's a. <laughs> Sort of. Are is your mom just not sure? <laughs> Are you like born right at midnight? You're exiting, and the doctor's like, "Oh no, we don't know." <laughs> I completely forgot. My favorite thing about England was probably Catherine and I went out um, uh, with Alex Day, and he's weird, and then we were <laughs> headed home when we took the, the tube, and it was a rugby match night, and the people on the tube were like, oh, I was just uh, 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 drinking, drinking, and women. And then uh, we got off, and we were like, quick, quick, run away. So we're not in the elevator with them. And we got to the elevator and we're like, close, 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 close. And we can hear them coming down. Like, arr, arr, arr. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, close the door. And the door went. And so then suddenly comes in these very drunk party teens. And they're like, whoa, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And they're so drunk. And one of them, it was the big, the big, huge elevators. I don't know. They feel like 35 people in these elevators. And they go very fast. And they're, they're like basically a hallway when you first walk into them the people just exit out the back and you're coming in the front. And so they run and one of them walks through the elevator like it's the hall and then gets to the other side and it's like, huh? <laughs> Doesn't know what's going on and they're like, Chloe, Chloe! And then we can hear the, the rugby players, <laughs> coming, and they're coming and I'm like, no, Chloe, come on! And then they stop the door from closing to, so they can go up with Chloe. But Chloe squeezes back in but then the doors don't close all the way. And then the rugby players all run and they all rush into the elevator and like, no, no! And then the elevator door is closed, but the back doors haven't closed. They're stuck. <laughs> and, the, and the rugby players are all oh, oh, we're in women! Rugby beer in women, rugby beer! And then the, and the, if you're happy on your nose, know, touch your nose! And I'm like, oh my god! I am so afraid, like, I want to record this, but I don't, like, at any moment you're going to go, like, they're going to snap from the happiest run to the angriest, and there's just going to be pulp all over the walls. <laughs> it's going to explode in a confined space, and the doors never, never open. We're in there for five minutes, stuck in an elevator, and it's terrified, and then finally the, the doors open, we all run out, and 
then we get in another elevator and we get upstairs. But that was my favorite experience. Because we didn't die. <laughs> my favorite thing is this. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure that they know how this works. It's all cement and concrete and marble and brick. That stuff is a burn. <laughs> We're fine. Hank, does it make you slightly uncomfortable that Jesus is hanging above you? <laughs> also It didn't until now. <laughs> Also, also, what is your advice for people wanting to start their own blogs slash blogs? Oh, come on! Wasn't the Jesus question enough? <laughs> I mean, now I'm legitimately worried that he's going to fall and kill us. <laughs> High five. <laughs> the, the, starting your own blog, good luck. I, my suggestion is to start in 2007, because that's the only thing that worked for us. <laughs> my suggestion is to... Uh, Get an audience of like two people, two of your friends, and to make stuff for them, and to ask them when they get bored or feel any desire to